Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com, News 6 Plus, and the Pinpoint Weather app. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. We have been tracking a lot of showers and thunderstorms, mainly north of Orlando today. But as we head into tonight, I think another round will definitely move through and impact the city as well as areas to the south that didn't see as much rain today. It's all associated with this cold front. It's currently moving through the panhandle. It will continue to make its way towards central Florida late tonight and pass by in the overnight early morning hours tomorrow. So what's behind that? A lot of dry air, folks, but ahead of it, we have a lot of moisture pumping and fueling a lot of those showers and thunderstorms we've been dealing with today. But you'll notice that co bright copper color on the water vapor imagery. That is the dry air that will move in behind it, clearing our skies and definitely setting us up for some colder weather. As we take a look here at the clouds and rain forecast, we start the clock at 7. The bulk of the energy, again, still mainly to the north of Orlando. But I do believe we could see a few showers or thunderstorms move through the metro as well as areas to the south, uh, at least through 11 o'clock before they start to fade away as they approach the coastline. By early tomorrow morning, we're dealing with some sunshine in some areas with high clouds in others, but you'll notice that there's still the potential to see some rain through at least the first half of the day before that clearing really takes place and we'll have high pressure settling in, bringing in some colder temperatures. The winds will be kicking up, folks. We're talking about winds gusting in the 35 to 40 mile per hour range. For tonight, we will be cloudy with passing showers and your overnight lows will settle in the mid to upper 50s to low 60s. As we head through the day tomorrow, though, the wind cranks up, the cool air moves in, and the rain moves out. So check this out. Your high temperature will get up to about 67. Winds gusting up near 35 miles per hour for a good portion of the day. Now let's get you some results and show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Don't worry, this uh, cool down is fairly brief. We'll be up near 70 on Monday. Okay, then by Tuesday, it's still breezy, a little bit warmer though upper 70s back to the mid to upper 80s as we head into Thursday. Notice your overnight lows though. On Sunday night, we're dipping down into the 40s, some areas into the 30s, and then we'll have a second night on that uh, as you wake up early Tuesday morning. Again, another round of cold before we gradually see those overnight lows get a little bit more mild. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.